Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes. Today we are making another requested brush, this time from subscriber Steven Wuldarczyk, 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 who asked to create an alcohol ink brush. It's a brush that mimics the highly alcohol diluted effect of having a saturated edge, yet faded center in the stroke, which is great for creating backgrounds and abstract art. I'll teach you how to create three different versions of this brush and which settings to tweak to achieve the look you want. So let's get started and make this brush. The first brush we'll be making uses default Procreate shapes and textures, so let's start with an open canvas, choose a brush library, and tap on the plus sign to make a new brush. In stroke path, set stroke property spacing to 20%. In Shape, tap on Edit beside Shape Source, tap Import, and choose Source Library. From the selections, choose Soft. Tap Done twice to save selection. In Grain, let's change Grain Behavior to Texturized and set Blend Mode here to Difference. In Rendering, under Blending, bump up Burnt Edges to 60%. In Apple Pencil, set pressure size to 95% and keep opacity at max. Finally, in Properties, set brush behavior maximum size to 600%. Now you have a smooth edge alcohol ink brush that you can start creating with. To give your artwork more variety, let's duplicate this brush, go into the brush settings, and in stroke path, set jitter to 15%, giving the stroke a bit of a jagged edge for more texture. At this point, you can create your own custom shape to make your strokes more interesting. First, start with a square canvas, with the background set to pure black, and drawing with pure white. Using either the monoline brush, or the soft brush from the airbrushing collection, draw something of a blob, making sure you have large enough gaps in between each curve, like this. When you're happy with your shape, tap on the Adjustments button and choose Gaussian Blur. Depending on the size of your canvas, blur to the point where you have enough fuzziness around the edges, like this, usually between 30 to 60%. Once you have your shape, copy the canvas, duplicate the brush, go into the brush settings, and in Shape, Simply paste your new shape in the shape editor. To make your strokes more dynamic, turn on randomized, and depending on your shape, turn on either flip X or flip Y. Then go into dynamics and set jitter size to 40% or a number that gives you the effect that you want. Finally, a bonus tip, if you want to show more of the color in the center, go into the brush settings, and in grain, under grain behavior, lower the depth value gradually to achieve the center saturation that you want. And there you go! A different art tool for you to explore and create with. I hope you enjoy making this one, and if you have any other brushes you'd like to see on the channel, tell me about them in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for all of the likes, comments, subscriptions. You guys are really the best. I'll see you again on the next brush, and until then, take care. Bye!